Right, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're gonna be talking about that doctor disrespect drama that's been going on for the past like day day and a half and we're gonna start off with the tweet that started this off like the whole thing off by cody connors basically said he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the in the then existing twitch whispers product he was trying to meet up with her at twitchcon the powers that could could read in plain text, case closed, gang. He also said, fuck him and his team or something like that. And that's what started off this whole tweet. And back in 2020, when uh, he did get banned, there was a lot of speculation on why. Like, everyone was wondering, like, why he got banned. Because he got banned out of, for no reason. He got banned out of nowhere. Like, no one knew. Twitch didn't say nothing about it. He didn't say nothing about it. I know it was handled in court, as he said a, a hell of times in his tweets uh, yesterday. But no one knew. So Dr. Respect responded to some of his responses was very questionable. Like, he didn't say it happened and he, he didn't deny it. He didn't accept it. He just said something about legal battles. So one of his tweets he dropped was, Listen, I'm, I'm obviously tied to a legal obligation from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is a, the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. Now, that tweet was a shitty tweet. I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't answer. Like, I don't know how legal battles work, because I've never been a serious legal case. Well, um, I do assume that he can say he didn't do it. I'm pretty sure he can say that. Like, he's he was better off like not saying anything at all rather than just coming to the net internet and saying a whole bunch of nothing. He really just had a whole bunch of nothing. He didn't say anything. Like, it was a pointless tweet. It was a waste of words. He was better off just shutting the hell up and just keeping it pushing and doing his little Elden Ring stream. But he dropped that tweet. Another tweet he dropped was when Jake Lucky dropped a tweet of a former Twitch employee has come forward, blah, 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 legal reasons, and basically did that. And then Dr. Disrespect responded with, Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. This allegation has nothing to do with your contract, like, at all. It just has, did you do it or did you not? Just say you didn't do it. like he's, Or just don't say nothing at all, because what he's saying is like, it's like he's confirming that he was, he, he he's confirming it, but also denying it. Like, it's like a gray ground. Like, you're not saying anything. You're just putting a bunch of tweets and words together. But the crazy part is about this whole situation is like a few years back when he did get banned, a guy by the name of Rob Breslow, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong. He dropped a tweet that said, look. For several hours now, I have been told from credible sources the reason Dr. Disrespect has been banned. However, due to the importance and sensitivity around the subject, I have refrained from going on it. I don't feel comfortable with it currently. And then a few hours ago, he dropped, I didn't lie. After all, after everything was exposed, he put, I didn't lie. Now, Dr. Disrespect, if you got caught sexting a minor and Twitch whispers for one that is a crazy way, like, like why would you? I don't know what it is with streamers and pedophilia or content creators and pedophilia, but it's becoming a trend of niggas in the gaming space or in the content scene being pedophiles. Like it's actually quite disturbing. It's quite, I'm concerned at this point. But like I said before, his tweets he'd been dropping, he should have just said nothing. I don't know if this was from him or his lawyer told him to drop them tweets, but he should have just stayed quiet. Because now everybody thinks you did it. Like, because now I'm thinking, yeah, you probably, probably did it. Like, because your tweets, it's like, dude, you should have just, you, you, you were better off just being quiet. Like, that's all I'm going to say on this topic. He should have just shut up. Like, he should have just been quiet. Because his tweets, he keeps talking about he's been paid and his, his legal battle and all this. He didn't say he didn't do it. He didn't say he did do it. He just giving us a great middle ground is like he's giving us a middle ground gear and letting us make our assumptions on this topic and i'm gonna make the assumption that <laughs> nigga you got caught like that's just how i feel um it's kind of sad because 
it's like like I said, it's a trend for these creators to be talking to minors and kids. I don't know why you would throw your career away to talk to a child. But it's it's becoming I mean he didn't really throw his career away because no one really knew. Like he just got banned and just moved on with his career. But if this is true, disrespect, yeah, you don't really deserve a platform. I'm gonna keep it a bug like you got caught. But that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys you know enjoy the information I gave in today's video. This is like my first little news video type of thing. Um make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um follow me on the rest of my socials, link are in the description down below. And peace out.